Hi students, welcome to physics classes. Now today we will discuss uh, gravitation, NCERT, syllabus from NCERT and uh, even I will cover IIT NEET foundation also. IIT NEET foundation. Now first we will discuss about uh, gravitation. What is mean by gravitation? What is mean by gravitation? In the universe, in the universe between every two objects, between every two objects, there is an attracting force. Between every two objects, there is an attracting force that is known as gravitation. In the universe between every two objects, between every two objects, there is an attracting force, only attracting force that is gravitational force. That is gravitational force. Gravitational force is denoted with the letter F. Gravitational force is denoted by letter F. Now, generally we will listen a word gravity. What is the difference between gravitation and gravity? What is the difference between gravitation and gravity? gravity now gravitation is the force between any two objects in the universe let us take mass m1 m2 mass m1 m2 between these two objects there is a force between these two objects there is a force that is gravitational force m1 attracts m2 towards it m2 attracts m1 towards it that is gravitational force that is gravitational force now in that two objects in that two objects if any one object is earth any one object is earth so the force between any object and earth the force between any object and earth or we can say the force between earth and any object earth and any object is known as force of gravity force of gravity gravity is the special case in gravitation gravity is the special case in gravitation okay now gravity also denoted by letter f now here mass of the earth denoted with capital m mass of the object denoted with small m the force between these two earth and any object on the surface of earth or near the surface of earth the attracting force is known as force of gravity or gravity now newton is a great scientist given a law related to gravitation that is known as newton's law of gravitation newton law of gravitation states that now we discussed gravitation what we discussed in the universe every object attracts other object with a force every object attracts other object with a force is gravitational force is gravitational force now this force this force is directly proportional to product of their masses force is this force is directly proportional to product of uh, their masses if these two objects are separated by a distance d we can take d or smaller d or smaller anything you can take now this uh, two objects distance measured from their centers is separated by a distance d so this force is force is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them inversely proportional to square of the distance between them it is taken as equation 1 it is taken as equation 2 what is the statement of newton's law of gravitation in the universe every two objects attract each other with a force uh, is known as gravitational force and that force is directly proportional to product of their masses and that force is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them now 
by combining equation 1 and 2 we will get uh, force is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them now now to remove this proportionality symbol we will take one constant that is f is equal to capital g m1 m2 by d square capital g is a proportionality constant and that g is known as gravitational constant gravitational constant now many of the students are getting confusion when we after deriving this and while learning also they will learn this g as gravitation no it is gravitational constant gravitational force f is the gravitational force g is the gravitational constant it is not force it is a constant f is the force remember that g means capital g means gravitational constant now from from this we can say formula for gravitational constant is gravitational constant keep aside and remaining take to opposite side f here d square dividing coming this side multiplication by masses m1 m2 so we can write a si unit of gravitational constant is newton meter square per kg square newton meter square per kg square and this g value is a constant everywhere in the universe that is equal to 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square remember this value 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square very 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 important value it is okay and uh, this constant is known as universal constant this constant uh, universal constant everywhere in the universe g value is constant everywhere in the universe g value is constant this capital g value is not depend on the masses this capital d value will not depend on the distance between two bodies everywhere this value is constant everywhere this value is constant now f equal to capital g m1 m2 by d square is the formula for gravitation gravitational force now m1 m2 are the two masses m1 m2 are the two masses now we if you take now if you take one object is mass one object is mass and any object near the surface of earth so m1 can be replaced with capital m m2 replaced with small m we can write f equal to g capital m small m by this d square is the distance between two bodies distance between two bodies generally we will take in this situation we will take an object is 100 meters 200 meters 300 meters from the surface of earth now here what is the radius of the earth distance between two objects we will measure from their centers no so we should know the radius of earth that is nearly equal to 6400 kilometers sometimes we will take that is 6371 kilometers when compared to the 6400 or 6371 kilometers if you take 100 meters 200 meters 300 meters 1 kilometer means 1000 meters 2 kilometers if you take that value is negligible so wherever the object near the surface of earth near the surface of earth we will consider only radius of the earth radius of the earth so this can be written as r square this is force between earth and any object on the surface of earth earth and any object near the surface of earth okay next you kept any object on the surface near to the surface of earth it will fall down it will fall down so it is falling down that is because of gravitational force it is falling onto the surface of earth that is because of gravitational force now 
that uh, body falling under the gravity is known as free fall is known as free fall falling a body under the gravitational force except gravitational force no other force is considered air resistance is there so it, it won't be considered it is very less it won't be considered that is known as free fall now here free falling will consider a body falling down so initial velocity is zero but uh, it will have some final velocity velocity of the body increasing why it is increasing because of the gravitational force acting on it so here acceleration is taken as acceleration due to gravity acceleration is taken as acceleration due to gravity this acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth nearly equal to 9.8 meter per second square 9.8 meter per second square now how to calculate this value now if you take any object whose mass is m then the weight of the body is m into g so this weight of the body is taken as weight of the body is taken this weight of the body is equal to gravitational force we will say weight is also known as gravitational force so we can write this is f and we have formula f equal to capital g capital m small m by r square so when we substitute when we take in these two equations if you equate these two m into g equal to g capital m small m by r square their magnitudes are equal so small m is the mass of the object small m mass of the object both gets cancelled then g equal to capital g capital m by r square g equal to capital g capital m by r square this is the relation between capital g and small g this is the relation between capital g and small g what is the relation between capital g and small g g equal to small g equal to capital gm by r square small g equal to capital gm by r square and we know g value 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square and we know the mass of the earth m is nearly equal to 6 into 10 power 24 kg 6 into 10 to the power of 24 kg and we know the radius of earth r equal to 6400 nearly equal to 6400 kilometer if you substitute these values here we will find we will calculate we will get the g value nearly equal to 9.8 meter per second square 9.8 meter per second square the same thing here these are the values on the earth if you take g value 6.67 10 power minus 11 is always same everywhere now if you take mass of the moon instead of mass of earth what is the mass of moon mass of moon is 7.4 into 10 power 22 kg and the radius of the moon is equal to 0.75 into 10 to the power of 6 meters 1.75 into 10 power 6 meters so if you substitute these values here we will get the g value on the moon g value on the moon is nearly 1.7 meter per second square if you take these two ratios g value on earth is 9.8 meter per second square and g value on moon 1.7 nearly 1.7 meter per second square so here we will get g value on moon equal to g value on earth divided by six times so g value on moon g value on moon is six times less when compared to g value on earth so we know mass is everywhere constant we know mass is everywhere constant if you take 5 kg mass on the earth the same mass on moon is same but g value decreasing on the moon so weight also decreasing by six times weight of the body is decreasing by six times on moon when compared to the earth okay
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर अपडेट्स